Hey, this is Joe. I'm still just south of Denver today with another neat little car. Hard to imagine what could be more fun for under $20,000 than a Boxster S. This one's very nice, belongs to a good family friend of ours. Seal Brand. He's had it for 11 or 12 years. He's only put maybe 1,500 miles a year uh, during the time that he's had it. It's always been indoors. It's always been undercover. Literally never out in any in any sort of weather. Certainly not out in the winter time at all. And it shows. It's not perfect. I can show a few blemishes on the car. There are a couple marks here. It looks like somebody may have backed into or bumped the car. Probably like the shape of somebody's license plate frame there. Sorry, could you say that again? There's a little bit of curb rash on some of the wheels. You can see there. Unfortunately, I went through a puddle and got splashed a little bit. A little curb or mounting rash there. There's a, I rubbed on this with my finger. I can just barely feel that. That would probably polish out. There is a scratch there that I can feel. Uh, you know, normal dog chips. The nice thing with these uh, silver colors is that it just really doesn't show. When you get close, you can see the rock chips here, but you get to here, it just presents really nicely. Uh, this wheel, I think, has a little curb rash right there. A little mounting there. 2015 date codes here. Let me see if we can see the date code on the front tire. 2015 date codes here. So I usually recommend at 10 years that you replace the tires regardless of wear. These have enough wear, you won't feel bad, at, bad about replacing them. And they're certainly fine for the rest of this summer. Uh, but nothing else really to report. Inside, it's pretty darn clean. Bolster looks very nice there. You can just see uh, how the color has started to wear a little bit on the side bolster here. That's pretty normal. Um, a little bit of wear on the leather on the uh, shift, I'm sorry, the, the brake lever. And that might be just dirt there and a little bit of wear in the kind of plasticky rubberized coating here on the armrest. Other than that, it's nice. We have all the all weather mats to go with it. So you can see there's nowhere on the, on the floor mat. Uh, we also have a Porsche car cover that goes with it. Uh, and the top, and I'll put the top up in a moment, has been replaced recently. So there's no pilling, fraying, anything like that. The top's in beautiful shape. Look at the mileage, 52,705. And it's got this really nice aftermarket Kenwood stereo system. And you, you know, when you drive these older cars, you forget how much you miss the stuff in your modern cars, like a backup camera. There you go, it has a backup camera. Super nice, air conditioning blows cold. Everything feels great, the clutch feels great, the transmission feels great. Uh, really nothing else to report. It's just a neat, neat little car with only almost 53,000 miles on it. Here, I'll put the top up. Obviously these are power tops. So you just press the button. The motor does the rest to get it to here. And then just clamp it in. There we go. That's it. Windows go up. And now it's all closed. I'll show you how it looks with the top up and how nice the top is. If you have any questions, if you'd like to see the Carfax or the build sheet, anything like that, or the only other wear item is, uh, while they're certainly not due for replacement, I can feel a lip on the front brake rotors. So, you know, for street use, you can use them almost indefinitely. It's probably the original rotor on the car, but uh, if you take it to the shop, they're gonna try to sell you a set of front rotors for sure. So, nice car. If you have any questions, like I said, give me a call. My number is 720-382-6167. And I thank you for watching.